It's been another year. It certainly has. Remember at the end of 2020 where we're all like, thank God, like 2021 can't possibly be any worse than this bullshit. Well, let's be let's be honest. It wasn't exactly worse, but it I mean, wasn't my better. Got, my husband got a whole ass pancreatic okay. tumor. Well, that's per okay. That on a personal level, yes. For individuals, yes. I see how be nine. Overall, for like the species, it wasn't entirely worse, but it wasn't exactly you know. Yeah, it's but like, it wasn't better. You know, it's like the chef finally stopped sticking his knife in in your food. You know, finally. Yeah. Doesn't make the food any better, but at least, you know, it doesn't have nine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying here. So I'm just calling on all of us going into 2022. Let's just not start. Nine. Okay. <laughs> let's just, let's just be real quiet. Don't, don't get cocky. We don't want any trouble. Just, you know, hey. <laughs> don't make eye contact. Hey, hey New Year. Uh, would you like some tea? No sudden moves. No. Don't, don't bury your teeth. You think that's a sign of dominance? Like, don't, don't piss it off. <laughs> don't piss it off. Tonight. Tonight, tonight, tonight. Whoa. Tonight, tonight, things went up. Ooh, la, la. Oh. This this is a very special episode of our show. If, if this is like your first year discovering us, okay. Um, it's it's the rectal specter, as we like to call it. That is. And uh, we'll get to that. We got a few regular stories first, and then we'll get to. I'm not going to do like the full six stories. We'll just do a few because I want to focus on the rectal specter because. It makes me laugh. And I is it always six? Yeah, normally, yeah, normally we do six six stories a week. Has it always been six stories this whole time? And I just never bothered to nine count. Yeah, it's it's always each week. In like a decade? Yeah. Like every wow. single week. It's a it's cool. <laughs> each week, Catherine, Radio Daddy audience going to be worldwide interwebs. Find all sorts of horrible shit. Bring it back here for a little segment. We like to call. What the fuck is wrong with you? And um, this week we've got we 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 have the, the rectal perspective. We also have the regular stuff. This is the every week. It seems like there's a story that everybody sends to me. Yeah. And I can tell that it's going to be a thing, like very quickly because they it just starts snowballing over and over this is the one and this is this is my legacy everybody looks at shit like this and goes oh i gotta tell nash i'm the first person they think of so this one florida man busted with drugs wrapped around his penis tells deputies it's not his. Well, how did that happen? And and I gotta if that's not enough, let's 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 enjoy the mugshot here. That's a mugshot. Yeah, I had I had cocaine on my dick. Yeah, what can I what can you do, man? I had cocaine on my dick. Clearwater Who floor among us hasn't strapped a bunch of cocaine around our dick. Clearwater, Florida. Because of course it's fucking Florida. Florida authorities reportedly arrested a man who had meth and cocaine wrapped in baggies around his penis, but told deputies the drugs were not his. Deputies stopped the vehicle uh, driving without its lights on at 4 a.m. Patrick Florence, 34, was in the passenger seat of the car. Authorities searched the vehicle and found a gun under Florence's seat. They proceeded to search him. They then found drugs, quote, wrapped around his penis in two plastic baggies. Florence stated, the package wrapped around his penis was not his. Well, then we've got a bit of a mystery, don't we, Patrick? I need us to get King Missile on the phone because this is the logical <laughs> sequel to Detachable Penis. Because it sounds like two guys had a detachable penis and they got them mixed up. <laughs> 
oh man, I got, I got Jimmy's penis with his drugs <laughs> on it. How did I do that? I mean, I but mean, also, but also congratulations to this guy mm. because I mean, I've never had a penis, but I've seen a few. And your average penis right. is not big enough in its resting state right. to be a pack mule for not one, but two bags of drugs. Right. So good for you, Patrick. <laughs> People are asking why the penis. The presumption is they won't search them there on a casual search. However, maybe, possibly, maybe, if you've got drugs wrapped around your dick, Maybe you could lean over and tell the person driving the car to turn the lights on. Because also, I, I've never had a penis, but I've seen a few. None of the ones I have seen are shaped like two Ziploc bags full of drugs. <laughs> it's so something unless, your pants so are, unless your pants are very baggy. You're going to arouse some suspicion. There's one person out there watching right now whose dick is shaped like two plastic bags full of drugs who's just going, hey. I encourage you to see a doctor as <laughs> soon as possible. Because that's, I mean, they're not supposed to look like that one really mean orc from Return of the King. You know the one I mean. It's not supposed to look like that. If it does, please <clears throat> see a doctor. Please. But yeah, the, the, turn the lights. Man, look. I'm not saying do crime, but I am saying cops love any excuse to pull your ass over. Any excuse. Yeah. Especially if you're a black dude with Patrick Ince. And while we're still dealing with this fucking hellscape, you, it, it's like, this is like kind of, you're kind of watching out for bears. It's the same thing. It's a dangerous wild beast. You have to take precautions. Speaking of dangerous wild beasts, um, Got another cop, and this one is just wow. The utter fucking gall. Holy shit. Florida deputy lied about being in coma, defrauded co workers out of sick days. Gilchrist County, Florida. Florida one has been accused of defrauding the sheriff's office where she worked, according to the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. Trent Kelly Freeman, 38, of Bronson, uh, was on two counts of uttering a forged instrument and one count of scheme to defraud. Uttering a forged? That's an interesting way of putting it. Weird phrase. According to the uh, authorities, Freeman filed multiple sets of fraudulent Family Medical Leave Act paperwork, forging the signatures of area doctors to support her false claims of extensive hospitalization for severe COVID and other medical issues. Additionally, officials say Freeman lied to her co-workers about her health and received hundreds of donated sick leave hours, totaling near, nearly $4,000 in payment. We should explain that for the people that do not live in dystopian countries. Right. Um, yeah, in America, if you get so sick that you've used up your, like, two allotted sick days... Um, a lot of companies do not fucking care. Right. And they will just stop paying you. Yeah. So the heartwarming thing that we do now is all your coworkers donate their sick days so that God forbid they get hit by a bus or sick. They have no sick days to you. And you know, they're not getting them back. No, because freedom. Um, Investigator found that rather than being comatose at the hospital, she claimed Freeman had in fact started working a full-time job. Who is? Didn't say who with, but. If you got a new job, just quit your old job. But then if she quit the job, she wouldn't have gotten the, uh, the, uh, yeah, the pay. Yeah, she wouldn't have the payoff. Honestly, a little surprised she got away with this as long as she did, because like my husband was recently in the hospital for three weeks, and that's tough to fake because you can call. Mm -hmm. 
and like you, I had a little code to get information about him, but once they're like awake or have a room, you can call and ask to be connected to that room. Now, if they say she was in a coma, if she said she had COVID, she was probably saying that, oh, she's quarantined. But that should be pretty easy to check. Problem- Although I guess who would check because what kind of fucking monster would do that? Well, the problem is she filed federal paperwork and they, they did. They eventually got through the backlog and checked and like, wait a second. All they had to do was call one of those doctors whose signature she forged and whoops. Yeah. Like I the new job is because it definitely wasn't at like the gas and sip you're we like what's her name no i uh, no who's that <laughs> I, I don't i don't know. i don't know that per- well that's the name on your name tag what? oh i yeah i must have picked up the wrong name tag today i have to go uh so another sign of the uh the impending crumbling of our entire civilization is uh, cottage industries have sprung up in which grown men will attempt to procure toys and cards and other items for the purposes of selling them at inflating flight inflated prices to children. Like this whole, you could call, no, these Pokemon cards are an investment. Like, I was watching a show today. Dan really likes Food Network and they have a kids baking championship and the prize is twenty five thousand dollars. And that's weird enough because I'm like, why? Why are you taking your child's hobby Mm -hmm. and putting that kind of pressure on it? Like your kid's 10. They don't need the shit in their life. But then one of the kids was like, oh, I'm going to use the money to try and get my my business off the ground. I really want to start a cotton candy truck. And I'm like. You're 10. You're like, are you shitting me? I, 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 I would not want to be a child today because there's no such thing. Well, this one comes from Japan. And uh, <laughs> this is another one where I don't think you thought this through. A uh, Hokkaido man arrested after daring daylight theft of 141 Super Bowls. We'll get to it. So tell me he got caught because he dropped them. Come on. Wouldn't that be amazing? (laughs) Him trying to run away with like literally a hundred Super Bowls bouncing in every. That would be great. Suspect claims he took the balls, but didn't steal them. City of uh, Tomokamai in uh, Hokkaido Prefecture is generally a peaceful place. Uh, however, the peace was shook on the morning of 21st December when a one-man raid took place in a shopping center in the city. Approximately 10.30 a.m., a man wearing a ski mask approached a section of the second floor of the mall where the toy capsule machines were located. He then proceeded to pick up one of the machines, which uh, measured three feet high, contained 141 Super Bowls and 16 U.S. dollars worth of coins. Are those? Valuable? You'll, we'll get to it. The man started to head toward the corridor that connected the shopping area with the uh, station, carrying the machine on his shoulder. However, he stopped at one point and put the machine down. At that same moment, a clerk spotted the man and called out to him. The suspect responded, quote, I'm not stealing, and then started to run away toward the train station, <laughs> leaving the machine I mean, behind. That's not yours, so yes, you are. The clerk notified the police and an officer on patrol spotted the man lift fitting the description of the suspect after questioning the 26 year old man was arrested, but in a subsequent interrogation denies some of the charges saying, quote, I carried the machine away, but I didn't intend to steal it. No. Uh, readers of the news pointed out the odd fact that what he took must've been the least valuable machine of the bunch. Since most capsule toy machines contain collectible figures itself for higher prices than super balls, which is probably what he meant to take. Yeah. So he stole the. Not there. So he stole the wrong vending machine. He stole the fucking gumball machine. I'm not stealing. 
Hey, you, what are you doing? I'm not stealing. Goodbye. <laughs> the fuck? His cover <sighs> story about what he intended to do with the vending machine full of Super Bowls. Well, I'm pretty sure when he finally got to a place where he could look at it, he was going to be like, oh, fuck. No, but I mean, he said, like, I didn't intend, I carried it away, but I didn't intend to steal it. Well, my question would be, well, then what was your intention? He wanted a machine with collectible figures in it. He grabbed the wrong one. Oh, so you're saying the sentence means I didn't intend to steal that one. Well, no. He says, I'm not stealing. He did steal. Right. Well, it's true. I carried the machine away. I didn't intend to steal. Yeah, I mean, if he... No, I didn't mean to steal that one. Yeah. I wanted to steal that one. And since I didn't actually steal that one, I'm free to go. Right? No. no. <sighs> stealing the wrong thing is still stealing. Oh, man, I really wish he had dropped them all. That's what so, I was hoping you were going to say. You want him to drop the ball? Yeah, the balls. The balls. Come on, can't... It would have been like a fucking John Woo <laughs> film, except instead of birds, it would have been Super Balls. <laughs> Just in every fucking direction. Tell me that wouldn't be amazing. <sighs> Final one tonight. This is from Orange County. Um, holy shit. We got, we got so off. We keep getting these. So often. It's, it's almost fucking routine now. Man steals fire truck outside hospital, leading to an un unusual pursuit. A bystander brought the whole wild pursuit to a peaceful end by standing in front of the truck. And talk about the hair on that anchor, because I don't see it because I don't have an autoplay on. So it's it's um it's unfortunate. <laughs> Choices were made and they were the wrong ones. A man was arrested on suspicion suspicion of stealing a fire truck and taking it on a wild pursuit through several cities before being detained in Anaheim Tuesday. Truck 85, a half million dollar truck, was stolen from UCI Medical Center in Orange at 1.40 a.m. as paramedics were taking a patient away to the hospital. Um, as they were dropping off a patient at the hospital, the truck was stolen. The driver traveled through many Orange County communities, including Fountain Valley and Irvine, before being stopped in Anaheim near Ball Road and Brocker Street. What? What were you hoping to accomplish? Right? Like, I mean, those are conspicuous by design. Like, I promise you, the bus isn't that bad. Yeah. And, and they're th like fire trucks are designed to be seen. Right. It's not like you can just like <whistles> casual fire truck. It's not like a 96 Honda Civic. <laughs> it's going to stand out. The truck was damaged in the chase. Oh, that's not going to work for you. That, that's mm -hmm. going to be bad. This going to be real bad. I don't think you're in. I don't know what insurance you got, pal, but I don't think it covers stolen fire truck. No. Are you kidding? Half the insurance now, you have to pay extra just to get collision on a car that you own. They're definitely not going to cover the fucking fire truck your ass stole. Like I, if we if I was going back to do this whole show over again from the beginning, I'm pretty sure my I would come up with like a sketch premise that just of insurance agents reading all this shit. Because <laughs> that seems, you know, that that because God bless them. They they have to deal with the other end of the, I want to talk to an insurance agent like Flo and Jamie just trying to stay all smiley and being like. <laughs> what? Why? I quit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you can't. See. We're in the pandemic. People need transportation to the hospital. Don't steal a fucking fire truck. Those, those are very important vehicles. And somebody, it's entirely possible, literally died because you had to be an idiot. So good for you. Okay. Here we are. 
at last. Now, there is a man, brave man, a great man, pioneer, who's done many uh, good things. He was an editor over at Deadspin, and he helped form a new site called Defector.com, um, where they do cool independent journalism that you can s support directly. But aside from all that, those, those small accomplishments, the towering legacy of Barry Pacheski is every year he scours emergency room records in the United States of America and presents us Have you, have you already got it up, Tara? Or do you need me to link you to it? Uh, it? Presents us with Okay, what did we get what did we get stuck in our rectums last year? Some call him the Walter Cronkite of our time. <laughs> now we're gonna, as usual, gonna go through every different orifice and things that had things in them. Working from pretty tame to horrifying. Um, start with the ears. Was it school today? I love the ones that have a story. Was it school today <laughs> when she had a pencil in her left ear and broke the eraser off inside of her ear? Patient also had another eraser placed in the right ear three days ago. You didn't learn, you didn't learn, girl. <laughs> You didn't learn the first time? Patient and friend were playing with a BB gun. Patient grabbed some BBs off the ground and tried to wipe them near head when one BB fell into his ear. Tried to remove. Patient put it in further. How? How cleaning BB? How did? I don't believe you. I think you were fucking around with your friends and you put a BB in your ear on purpose and you're embarrassed about it. Um, googly eye. <laughs> That's probably okay. Can you imagine you're sitting there in the emergency room? You're the doctor on call. You bring out the little light. You look in the ear. And there's a fucking googly eye. <laughs> the doctor probably I, I like, like to inform you, you're possessed by a Muppet. <laughs> Um, piece of cake. Like it was super easy to get this item out or no. it was literally cake. I mean, at least that you can just put water on and it'll mostly dissolve. Hot milk. What? <laughs> How does that get stuck? Put the, it, it, it gets it, air pocket can trap it in your ear canal. Yeah. Um, that's probably and that you don't want that staying in there because unlike water, it can rot yeah. in your ear. Um, put the end of a ballpoint pen in the ear canal and got it lodged, and the prison staff was not able to remove it. <laughs> There's an, That's an elaborate escape attempt. <laughs> oh, circus peanut. Circus peanut. Packing peanut, sticky putty. Um, ear pain after using candle wax and tweezers to remove something from ear. So what the did, dude did was he pushed candle wax into his ear to try and pull something. Points for originality. Well, there's a thing that people do mm. called ear candling. Where like they literally like shove a candle in your ear and then light it, and the heat is supposed to melt all the gunk in your ear. I may have that wrong, but I've never understood how that's supposed to help. Also, peroxide exists and doesn't require an open flame within inches of your head. <sighs> ball pump, cotton Which ball. Kind? Cotton balls and plastic toy sword playing with toy wrestler and took out a small battery and was pretending it was an earring, at which point he fell into his ear canal. <laughs> was tired of hearing her mother yell at her, so she decided to put some stickers in both ears. <laughs> Are 
creative. <laughs> Aluminum foil, glitter, and rhinestones. Someone, were you scrapbooking the inside of your head? An episode of Drag Race gone horribly wrong. Now let's go to the nose. Aluminum foil. So we're just sort of starting off from the other one. The QAnon people are really getting diligent <laughs> about those radio waves. I do not understand this. I do not. I stuck a hard poop up her nose that she found in her sister's drawer in the bedroom. What? Nothing about that sentence is okay. Now, I'm hoping a hard poop is one of those toy poops. You know, those little, those little poop emojis. That's the best case scenario, I'm yeah. hoping, yes, that she found a, 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 you know, like one of those emoji poops. Because otherwise... Otherwise, that's some really good single sentence horror. Yeah. <clears throat> um, Mulch. Candy corn was picking her nose with a coffee stirrer and it broke off in her nose. She reports trying to get out, but he went, but she went up further. I mean, kudos for admitting she was picking her nose. But they're that far. Yeah. I mean, you might as well get a COVID test while you're up there. Jesus. Yeah. Um, doll head. Bullet. I, I, Tara, given where I grew up, I swear to God, I know people, I know relatives who would have put a bullet up their nose and thought it was funny. So this one does not seem all that. Yeah. Yeah. That one, that one got it. Yeah. Hey, look at this. Yeah. That's, that's what this was. Um, rock from fish tank. Cat food. Uh, this is the Toy best. <laughs> Read it. <laughs> Toy pill that expands into sponge dinosaur. Uh oh. Which is like fine going up, <laughs> but then it hits moist, <laughs> and you have problems. You have a big problem. Holy shit! <laughs> oh no! Oh god no! Um, <clears throat> number eight button from the TV remote. <laughs> With her parents, mom discovered a plastic bead stuck in right nostril. Twin sister with same problem. They, they do everything together. <laughs> Throat. Was holding pill in one hand and his earbud in the other hand. Got distracted and took the earbud instead. <laughs> I actually believe that because I've been that stupid yeah. before. The um, next one is also bad. Was at home eating popcorn while holding coins and mixed them together. Video game cartridge. Now that could mean any number of things. That could mean like one of those Switch. Um, oh, okay, because I'm picturing the Nintendo from our youth. Yeah, that's a different, but it's big. And I'm like, you got a career in very weird porn. That could be like one of those little Switch SD cards, or it could be like a Game Boy cartridge, which that's still kind of impressive, too. Was in the hospital lobby chewing on a plastic bottle cap when she accidentally swallowed it. Well, you were in the right place. Yeah. Not a long rock. I've done not a long walk. You're, you're you're right there. Um, SIM card, USB cable. Inhaled a sewing needle in a plastic tube with a string attached when trying to use it as a blow dart. This was a kid. I hope it was a kid. This is a fucking kid. You gotta watch your kids. They're idiots. Look, having kids and having pets. Your main job is to keep them from killing themselves. Yeah. Or burning down your house. While swinging in a swing and his brother threw some gravel in his face and he inhaled some. That, yeah, brothers do that sort of yeah. shit. Um, 
Mom's birth control pills. <laughs> now, the good news is they will eventually dissolve and move down. The bad news is, depending, it doesn't even depend how many you took, you're going to have a bad few days. Yeah. Um, playing a soccer game with friends had a thumbtack in his mouth when he got excited and asked for, why did you have a thumbtack in your mouth while playing soccer? Really? Is that like Squid Game soccer? <laughs> Swallowed a penny because she says she is a human piggy bank. I hope that's a kid. Yeah, I hope so. Listen, <laughs> it better be a kid because the whole way that we got into doing this was making fun of people that thought they were aliens from a James Cameron movie. So if we're making fun of a lady who honestly thinks she's a piggy bank, we're in some shit again. Um, this one is lovely. This is a little story, a little, little, little short story. Her mom, she was looking for her car remote and said out loud, where's the battery that goes in here? Patient replied, I ate it. <laughs> I believe that 100% because three years ago, we were in Ireland with my <clears throat> sister and her kids, and my niece was three at the time. Mm. And my family, my mom's side of the family, we all have it. Our hair is very heavy in the front and grows into a swoop, which is why I've had bangs for years. Okay. And, you know, we all have our own way of dealing with it. So my sister always had my, my niece's hair in a barrette to keep the hair out of her mm -hmm. eye. And one day, <laughs> Holly, not Holly, Molly. Molly, where's your hair clip? Where's your hair clip? And she just kept going. <laughs> And we're like, oh, no, you're joking, <laughs> right, Molly? You're joking. Where's your where's your hair clip? <laughs> um, OK, these are confusing. Ceiling tile. Whoa. Hello, Kitty. Now, that that, that could mean any number of things. That could mean anything. Um, trying to do a plastic bag challenge. Filled a plastic bag with liquid and popped the bag while trying to swallow the liquid. Swallowed a piece of the bag. Fucking challenges. I don't, I don't understand that challenge. Christmas ornament. Three Christmas tree hooks. Five pointed star. Jingle bell. And a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> Swallowed a water oh. bottle cap. Normally pokes holes in a cap. And drinks through the hole, but this time the cap came off when attempting to drink, and he swallowed it. What? Just <laughs> cap. And the last one for the mouth is amazing. It's very brief, but it's very evocative. Confetti started coughing. Some came up. How festive! <laughs> I really, really cannot stress enough how much you should not be putting anything with sharp edges down your throat. <laughs> the confetti is Food with sharp edges is made to be mashed up by your yeah. teeth first. Engagement ring. I just saw that one. <laughs> That's a bad breakup. All right. Those of you who are in possession of one, prepare to cringe. It's penis time. <clears throat> Do this. I love, I love injured penises. They're like my favorite thing. Feminism. Marble. Didn't we do a story about dudes doing that in prison on purpose? Yeah. Screw and piece of pen. Put a chopstick in his urethra last night to make his penis longer. And was unable to remove it. Ow. Ow. Fucking. That work. Mm. Fucking ow. I think that would work. No, I don't. I just. What? <laughs> um, end of a rat tail comb. Oh, I remember those. Well, those are pointy. Yeah. Um, clothing price tag. <laughs> this, this one is terrifying. Headphone cord to prevent wet dreams. This is why you have to teach the kids about the sexual education or else they're <sighs> going, they're going to stick. They're going to try to cork their dick with a headphone cord. 
with an electrical cord. Yeah. And let me tell you, it's not going to stop it. But you know what happens to electricity when it comes in contact with wet? Um, bread Nail. twist nails, bread twist tie, piece of metal from COVID mask, and while masturbating with a sewing needle, he lost control of the needle and it disappeared into the meatus of his penis. That is a quote. Master with a with a understand people are in all kinds of stuff. <clears throat> I personally don't want anything with sharp edges anywhere near that neighborhood. Right. Like we're not <laughs> okay, we're not judging your fetishes. We're just put, pointing out they make stuff designed for the purpose. Yes. <clears throat> you don't got to improv anymore. It's the 21st and people century. And you're going to be like, well, it's embarrassing to buy those. Okay, but it's probably less embarrassing than explaining it to the nurse at the ER. Like, why there's a sewing <clears throat> needle in your dick. We didn't get flying cars, but we got all sorts of stuff to do with your genitals. Yeah. We've, so, <laughs> vagina, that time. Here we go. Spiked penis ring. Barbell. Oh. Two batteries. <laughs> Here's a story. Patient was having sex with her boyfriend last night and a vibrator was placed in her vagina and is still vibrating and is stuck. That does happen. <laughs> Even if you use the proper tool from the job, sometimes... Send it the emergency room. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, if you have a thing in there and it's vibrating, there are going to be involuntary responses. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Candle. No. Candle. A unicorn. Do they mean like in the polyamory <laughs> sense? <laughs> or like an actual live unicorn? Husband's wedding ring. I can see that. Yeah. Take it off first, fellas. Glow in the dark ball. Well, at least they could find it. <laughs> at least they could see it. Detergent pod. <laughs> That's not no bad. No, no. Also made to dissolve when they hit wet. Yeah. And finally, Spider Man action figure. I mean, No Way Home was real good. <laughs> That was a good movie. <laughs> okay, everyone, you've been patient. And now it's time to see what America put up their ass. <clears throat> was joking around with friends when joke was taken too far <coughs> and a can was put into his rectum. I feel like we're missing some information here. It's like you were on Netflix and we got episode one, episode two, and all of a sudden we're on episode eight. <clears throat> the joke was taken too far before then. Yeah. Um, two batteries again. <laughs> it's a, they, it's a nothing runs on one battery. Went and here's every year, every year, went to sit down in the bathtub and sat on a plastic bottle of bubble bath that went into his rectum. No, you didn't. No, it didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Nobody believes you. I mean, we have to write that shit down, but everybody in this room knows what happened. Everybody knows you're lying. <laughs> Flathead screwdriver. Phillips head screwdriver, so that you know you got you got your options there, depending on what you I need for the job. Which one of those is worse? Pump action plastic alcohol dispenser, topical. Uh, <laughs> rolling pin. Wow. Some stories here. 
states he and his wife were having sex when she placed a rubber penis in his rectum and it broke off. <laughs> literally broke it off in his ass. <laughs> she literally... <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, that's it. You can actually do it. Um, <clears throat> stuck plastic toilet paper hole rotor ro holes. Stuck plastic toilet paper holder in rectum during sexual encounter with partner while intoxicated. What? <laughs> Reports was playing with my wife when the cap of an aerosol can became dislodged and stuck in his rectum. Whoa. What? That's impressive. That's some that's goatsy. That's right there. That wow. Jesus. I'm gonna do the math here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here's an here's an escalating. <clears throat> Go ahead, go ahead. We're gonna work up. Yeah. Rubber ball. Squishy ball. Dress ball. Billiard ball. Now it depends on which billiard ball it was. Because you know the the, the cue ball is slightly larger than the other billiard balls, so it can't it goes down a special yeah, it goes down a special hole, comes back. It's like it's like maybe a few micrometers, but it's just big enough that it doesn't go down. Yeah, but if you put the cue mm. ball in the hole, you automatically lose. <laughs> so you know you don't want to be doing that. Um, patient states was attempting to hold a ball in gluteal fold, and believes got lost. Not a hundred percent that ball is in rectum. I feel like you would know. I, you'd know. You'd know. Toy dinosaur. Toy rocket. Puzzle pieces. Quote, some marbles. Hex bug robotic toy. Oh, no. Now, oh God, here's another one of those. States he and his friend had a practical joke going on each other. This time he was sleeping when a friend put a dildo in his rectum and now unable to get it out. Okay, wait. <clears throat> Think you know what the phrase practical joke means? Yeah. Because yeah. either. Either. Either you're both doing this and it's not a practical joke. No. It's just homosexual sex. Yeah, it's just sex. Or you're running all kinds of different pranks on each other and your friend just raped you. I tend to believe the former, not the latter. Yeah, I just, one is totally okay, yeah, but I, like, call it what it is. I'm pretty sure the this. Other is a felony. I'm pretty sure this one was just. I had to come up with a reason to say I to avoid saying I'm gay. Shampoo bottle, <laughs> lotion bottle. Like that, that's okay. Yeah. Hairspray. <laughs> no. no, 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 no. Read it. Read it. It's amazing. Read it. Having trouble going poop. So he placed a mechanical pencil in his rectum. Patient now unable to remove. Pencil is sticking out. <laughs> Listen, if you're constipated, anything you push up there is just adding to the problem. He's got a pencil just sticking out his ass. Can he sign his name that way? <laughs> How would you like which which end would you like to sign the form, sir? <laughs> Do you know about I learned this on Reddit. Oh god. There are men and it's more common than you might think that have a designated poop knife. What? Because they blame it on the plumbing that the plumbing can't handle it at full size so they have to carve it up and like I'm just saying they make Metamucil in gummies now 
Oh God! We God God. Maybe you eat a banana. <clears throat> anyway, magic. I should know that. Rodeo. Magic dice. That's a uh, natural one. <laughs> Roll the one. Um, head of action figure. Towel with with a sock over it and a glove over the sock. What? What the fuck? What the fuck happened there? Axe body spray? Listen, it's a better use for it than yeah. the one they're selling it for. 12-inch knife handle first. Thank God. So this guy is walking around. With a knife sticking out of his ass. <laughs> Technically, he's bionic now. <laughs> Slightly less cool than that movie where Rose McGowan had a gun for a leg. <laughs> I'm a cyborg! Um. <coughs> wow. Okay was drinking with friends and believes that he may have placed a nickel and dime into his rectum. What the fuck were you drinking? If the nurses didn't have Nickelback playing on a loop the whole time he was there, they're not even trying. And they say that a hero will save us. I can't do Chad Kroger. My but you God. Get who, who, what friends are you drinking with when it's okay in the middle of drinking to be like, hold on. Oh, <laughs> hold on. I got to hold on. Listen, hold on. apparently there's a lot of men that when they get together with their buddies and drink, everybody's pants comes off. I don't have those kind of friends. Apparently, a lot of men do. From I what thought, this list I thought those were very specific kind of friends. Sounds like, <clears throat> you know, right out at the sports bar with the boys. Turns into shirt cocking a lot. Light bulb. Oh, no. Now, this one, I think this is the first time anyone has ever actually sat down on something and it went up their ass. Grass and golf tea. However, that Play makes, a naked golf. That's it. Yes. That's the thing. Yes. I don't think you get a mulligan on this one. <laughs> um, lottery ticket. Well, you've already lost. Uh, and the final one. Foreign body in his rectum, he states he believes it is a vape and is not answering any questions. <laughs> I'm just, He's if, not sure. I'm just, I'm waiting. If he clenches and just smoke comes out of his ass. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fog machine. <laughs> it concerns me that he doesn't know what's up there. It's just, it might be a vape. It could be within the realm of possibility. I don't know. How did this happen to you, sir? Fifth. <laughs> so it's not a crime. <laughs> I'm not talking about it. You can't make me. I want a lawyer. I never laugh as hard as when we do this. <laughs> yeah. Because the mental pictures are beautiful. Just please don't show oh, things where they don't belong. Please don't. That doesn't go there. Look, you are in an age of miracle and wonder. There are there's an entire internet <clears throat> filled with a billion things. That were specifically made to go in every you know hole. might betray you. They might break off in your ass or just. <laughs> I'm a break it off. No more. You're a break it off in you. That can happen. I didn't know that. But it's still less embarrassing <clears throat> than that being a sewing needle. That's 
That's like the worst. I'd rather be at the ER with the vibrator that's stuck and be like, well, you know how it is. It's Saturday. <laughs> then be at the ER with a carrot that's broken in half. <laughs>